The French Gendarmerie National Tactical Training Center at Saint-Astier, Dordogne, France, hosted the European Union Police Services Training Course from the 17th up to the 20th of June 2013. This training event followed the four series of the Spanish Guardia Civil, which opened this cycle 2012-2014. With about 450 instructors and trainees from 30 countries coming from the European Union, Africa and North America, this event's objective was to put together all skills from European police units with civilian or military status within the framework of the deployment Mission Abroad Kosovo Time. With sizable lodging capabilities, renowned tactical and technical teaching skills of the European level in crowd and riot control, the center offers also specific infrastructures allowing to implement very realistic exercises. The center reached the European Union goal by implementing interoperability at an international HQ level along with FPU and SPU units. The goal of EUPST is to reinforce crisis management civilian capabilities of the participating countries. Then, units will have at their disposal a common manual and glossary. Since 1996, numerous courses aiming to develop cooperation and sharing of good practices at the European level have been held at Saint-Astier. First, the FIEP. France, Italy, Spain and Portugal, then EPF. European Police Force, EGA. European Gendarmerie Force, EUPFT. European Union Police Force Training have permitted a common training to the different European Union police and gendarmerie forces with either civil and military status. This training event is financed up to 80% by the European Commission. Among the 30 countries, we can notice representatives from Cameroon, which will organize this kind of course in 2014. Run by the Ministry of the Interior, International Directorate, and with the support of the Gendarmerie General Directorate and the Gendarmerie National Educational and Training Department, the training event organized at the Gendarmerie National Tactical Training Center is led by Colonel Thomas Szoplik, head of mission from the Polish Gendarmerie Military Police. I'm really satisfied with the training uh, event uh, and the expectations uh, are met, definitely. Uh, we, did, we did a lot of work uh, during the preparation process for this exercise. Also during this exercise, people are very committed uh, to it. Uh, they are very willing to, to work uh, and they are enjoying the, the work and the staff and the field as well. I can easily compare that this is excellent place and excellent momentum to share experience, to meet uh, another nations, to learn another nations and then to understand each other and what is the most important, to reach common level of understanding. With civilian crisis management as backdrop, the goal is to develop interaction between judiciary and intervention capabilities within a deteriorated environment that involves the use of restoration of order, crowd and riot control techniques by units formed by representatives of all participating countries put together. As the scenarios of the exercises must be as realistic as possible, the support of the French Gendarmerie Crisis Management and Planning Team has been requested with its new shelter ensuring data processing and computer means, as well as the Gendarmerie Forensics National Center with a team of experts in order to reinforce the criminal investigators and the forensic teams and the Gendarmerie National Level Intervention Team, specialized to free people and places in deteriorated situations and specific environments. Since 2011, Perryland has been facing a deteriorated situation. Ethnic clashes, curfew, bomb attacks, civilian casualties, mass graves, arms or human trafficking. 
and paramilitary units have led the United Nations Organization to deploy European Union Police Forces elements. We are the 4th of June 2030. On the 17th of June 2030, the first joint mission begins. I work with uh, a staff where I was the head of staff, the uh, chief of staff, and uh, I love working with everybody from many nationalities. I've got um, skills, and uh, I'm th I think uh, I'm strong enough since I'm the director of this exercise in Cameroon, to be able to organize it strongly and then with my mates, I think we will do it well because the French and the Mary help us with documents and then with all the support they, they could give. I thank them for all that. You know, we are conducting our own uh, exercise in 2014, so I'm here as an observer and I'm here to get the most and best practices for our uh, uh, session to implement. of the personal advisor of the head of the mission. That's why it's so important to, uh, to, be, to attend this kind of, uh, of training exercise. To my personal opinion, this is very important to organize this kind of event because it enables us to exchange our experience. Uh, without this kind of exercise, it's, to my opinion, it's impossible to be very efficient in the different missions. From the professional point of view, it was a great experience. Uh, I think it did improve definitely my skills. Uh, I had the opportunity to work uh, with uh, well-trained professionals, uh, police officers, gendarmes. Um, we managed to communicate without any problem uh, at any level. And uh, definitely I, I can say we did a really good job together. You say that it is uh, exactly like uh, other mission abroad I have uh, participated to. Uh, in the same situation, I had the uh, possibility to work with different police officers coming from different countries. <laughs> Lui, sa main jusqu'à là est protégée. D'accord. Quoi qu'il arrive, c'est que. Et après, on va, de toute façon, je vais tirer un maximum sur mon bras de manière à pouvoir taper au centre et pour reprendre le casque. De ce côté-là, il a la main sur le. Tu vois, il a la main sur l'axe. Tous les deux Ok. Thank you. I have been in several missions abroad. And uh, this mission, this, uh, this exercise, is very close to what, I, what we are seeing in the field missions. Putting together different units from different professional backgrounds. It's, it's uh, I mean, uh, managing to push them in a level of interoperability. It is really something that is wonderful. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
on fait deux décisions de manière propre. I'm in charge of uh, all the ring, maneuvering with two uh, squadron of form police units. These two forces include something like um, 12 or 13 nationalities in the same, into the same units. Even if you're experienced, uh, it's good for di a different level. First to train the language skills and then after to, 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 to see the doctrinas, the change of doctrinas, which are very, very good and then to set up some um, HQ forces, which can be also interesting part. So yes, it totally reached all my, uh, my expectations. What was good is the courses that we have seen during the HIT classes, because they were done about uh, lessons and learn and giving good tricks for the people who are supposed to go in missions and a good rehearsal for the people who have been in mission. No, 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 it's just like... Everybody else. Oh. I think that it's always useful to train with each other for a common job we have. And uh, here we, we did a lot of things together, we faced the difficulties and we saw a lot of possibilities. Your mission will never be completed without a training. So train and then after go on the mission together. They found out that the French Gendarmerie has a real good facility here in saint astier and I knew that this would be a great opportunity for me to test and also to improve my uh, work experience. Up to now I've been involved in uh, two missions organized by the Frontex, which is an European agency dealing with the management of the external border of the European Union. I can say that the feedback is 100% positive. <laughs> to find out many things about international missions, their goals, uh, and mainly the major challenges that we're about to come up with. Mission is illegal! No, no, no. Take a line, take a line! Okay. Oh, ça, bon. 
The facilities here are very impressive. I was in Kosovo last year, in 2012, I was Polish FPU deputy commander. And in my opinion, everyone who would like to take part uh, in a mission abroad should complete this kind of training. Last two years I spent in Africa, uh, especially in, U in UN mission in Liberia, two years and one month. And uh, now during this train I understand that is, this event is very important, very useful and it's, it's very important especially for officers who is going to be deployed in next missions. For me, this was a new experience that uh, we don't have the opportunity to do in Canada. This training uh, was very much welcome and I wish I had it prior to my deployment in Afghanistan a year and a half ago. I spent a year and a half uh, with the uh, European mission in Afghanistan, UPOL, but as well would have prepared me probably better to meet the challenges of the mission. The interoperability is real all along the mission. The criminal investigations following all police raids under the force responsibility, which intervenes harmoniously by using English, the official working language. The physical dimension is important and taken into consideration while performing a stress management obstacle course in the center facilities. Everyone has been able to evaluate his capabilities at individual or collective level. During the closing ceremony, three French military medals have been awarded. The European flag has been handed over to the Italian delegation, which will organize the next training course in Kenya. A marching parade, including all delegations, has handed the ceremony.